Hello YouTube, this is a coffee review of Caribou Daybreak. It says on the bag, Doe's pointed skyward, waiting for the daybreak to fill the room with light and start of a new adventure. According to the website, it is the second lightest of their light, light roast. The description is the perfect pick-me-up, whether it's morning or evening. Cheering and sweet, it leaves a quiet hint of fruit and nuts after each sip. Nothing really description on the bag. It boasts about how they are national uh, rainforest allegiance or alliance certified 100%. And so forth and so on. It's not a whole lot of description about this, other than it is a light roast. The bag note is very light. Usually they get that kind of brightness that foretells that it's got that bright acidity in the flavor. This doesn't have that. It's a nice, solid smelling coffee. It would be a a medium roast type of odor to it. Not pungent like a dark roast. But very nice to smell. So what I have over here my French press. It's been sitting for eh, about four minutes. Here we are. Give this a squeeze. See what we get. It is a nice dark color, but not too dark. Um, dark brown. We call it coffee. The foam on top of it is actually a tan color. So I've seen the dark roast of Caribou be much darker than this. So you see why they call it a light roast, just by the shade. But the shade is not too far, too far light, as it were. It's a nice looking coffee. Uh, like I said, it looks like a nice medium roast. But by the uh, foam on top, it makes you think it is a dark roast. Now you're starting to get that uh, light smell to it, that that acetone you know, starting to come up. But it still has a full coffee bean smell. The bag itself was absolutely filled with that, this nice coffee bean smell to it. And there are just hints of fruit notes in this, but just hints. I didn't pick it up in, in the bag. The bag, you can like it was all this wonderful earthy, beany smell. But you do get just a hint of fruitiness. Just a hint. Wow. Now, it is very, very uh, strong coffee-wise, coffee bean taste. That acidity brightness to it is quite subdued. It's there, but it's not overpowering like in some coffees. There's a nuttiness to it. The fruitiness has gone away. Leaving you with a nice uh, beanie taste to it. That uh, acidy brightness that you get stays on the palate it's a lingering back there but it doesn't uh, mount up onto itself so that's quite nice it's very inviting it's a nice inviting drinking coffee but it comes off the palate really quick like I said what stays behind is that a little bit of acidity, a little bit of a bitter, 
and then that fades relatively quick too. It's gone before you take the next sip. Now I've had this coffee throughout the week or so. I've come to determine that it is a very forgetful coffee. As in once you sip it, take down a cup or two, you don't even realize that you've even drank any coffee. The flavor fades off the palate that quickly. So I was trying to figure out why would anyone want, want to drink this when literally when you get done with your cup, you don't even know that you've even had a cup. It's like the Chinese food of coffee. And the taping of this particular video, it is in midwinter. The time of year that you would want something heavy and thick and full of flavors. Not uh, what you would expect. Uh, not the time of year you want this kind of coffee. So it dawned on me that you would want this uh, particular coffee in the summer. When it is blazing hot. And it gets hot in these parts. This would be an excellent coffee for summertime. When, they're, when you're waking up in the morning and it's a hot morning. And you're going to start a hot day. You don't want something that is hanging on the palate and just absolutely, you know, thick. You want something light, something that comes and goes. This comes onto the palate, it's got a nice good flavor to it. It stays long enough to you sip it down. It's a bit of a linger and then it's gone. It's perfect for summertime. So there you go, this is Caribou Coffee. Daybreak morning blend. A forgetful coffee if you drink it in the morning, but perfect for summertime. Give it a try, see what you think. Write in the comments down below uh, about this particular product, or better yet, buy it. Can make a video of yourself trying it, telling the rest of the YouTube community out there your thoughts of this particular product. Until next time, keep on drinking.